Craig and Julie, no major fast food chain has ever done this before. But things have become so critical at Chipotle after six months of bad publicity that it's pulling out all the stops to bring you back. If the line seems shorter these days at the downtown Cincinnati Chipotle, it might be because fans like Sandy Brown have cut back. I haven't gotten it since the health scare. I've only got the chips and salsa. Chipotle's sales and stock price have plunged more than 20% since its E. coli scare. Some downtown diners told us they just don't trust Chipotle right now. I don't, I don't go there anymore because of the scare. Mm -hmm. You just don't feel that comfortable there? I don't feel comfortable eating the food. To try to restore customer confidence, Chipotle will shut all of its locations on February 8th for several hours for employee meetings and a reboot of the company. Among the changes Chipotle will announce to all 60,000 employees, tomatoes and lettuce will now be washed at central kitchens like other fast food restaurants do. Chicken will be marinated in sealed bags, not in open bowls, and prep areas will be scrubbed much more frequently. Still not sure? Well, you can check the Hamilton County Public Health Inspection reports online. We found most local Chipotle's receiving good scores, though there were some demerits for food storage procedures. In the end, many tri-staters predict they'll bounce back. Yeah, of course, the line isn't a around the corner like it used to be, but I still think it's still a great place to eat. I think they're going to come through it just fine. Chipotle will also bring back freebies and other discounts starting next month.